Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the steering gear mechanism. So the steering gear mechanism we are been using in our LMV as well as in our commercial vehicle. So what is exactly this steering gear mechanism? So in this steering gear mechanism, if you see now this is the layout of the four wheel vehicle in which this is the front side here AB is the front axle and here rear axle means the back axle is there. So these are the back wheels and these are the front wheel. So here A is the width, track width and here B is the total length of the center distance between the front and the rear wheel. So what is exact steering system or steering mechanism? If you see here, the center line of this rear axle or the back axle and the center line of the front axle, this axis should be meeting at one common point. So this point is called as the instantaneous center. So if these two points, if these two center lines, they are not, if they are not intersecting at this instantaneous centers, then our vehicle, it will be not taking proper turn towards right side or to the left side. So this will be the condition that the both the center lines of the front and rear axle, they should meet at one common point so that there will be no any overturning or skidding phenomena of the vehicle. So based on this system or based on this principle, there are two types of steering system, steering gear mechanism system. So now first is the Davis steering gear mechanism. So this steering gear mechanism was developed by the scientist Davis. So the name was given as Davis steering gear mechanism. So here it's the front axle. And now this front axle is now attached with this tie rods, which is having a slider. Means this is nothing but a slider as well as the slotted lever. So here the front, this front axle is attached to this upper mechanism. So that the, these are the two bearings, Q and P will be the bearings, and this tie rods will be having sliding motion here also as well as inside this slotted link also. And same condition, if there should be proper uh, turning motion, means if there should be no any skidding phenomena, then condition should be the both the center lines of front and rear axle, they should meet at one common point. So this point is nothing but the instantaneous central point. But here in this Davis, uh, Davis steering gear mechanism, the drawback of this Davis steering gear mechanism is, if you see, here there will be maximum friction in this slotted link as well as in this uh, bearing system. So there will be maximum friction losses and there will be maximum effort required while taking turn for the vehicle towards left side or to the right side. So this daily steering gear mechanism is now absolute in our day to day, today's system of the vehicle. As there is friction is maximum and efforts required for turning the vehicle will be also maximum. So this type of steering gear mechanism is now nowadays we are not using. So in order to avoid this uh, phenomena, you see in order to avoid these friction losses, there was another steering gear mechanism which were commonly used in nowadays. That system is called as Ackerman steering gear mechanism. So this uh, steering gear mechanism was developed by the scientist Ackerman. So the name was given as Ackerman steering gear mechanism. So in this Ackerman steering gear mechanism, if you see, there will be no any sliding motion here. There will be no any slotted link as well as there will be no any the bearing system. So simply this is the front axle and these are the tie rods such as BC, then CD and AD. And here at this B point, there will be one turning pair. At C point, there will be another turning pair. Similarly at D and A. Means here, there will be no any sliding pair. All of these, there will be all four turning pair. And these are the stub axle. This outer part is the stub axle on which the wheels, they are mounted. So the basic condition is what? For the proper steering of system, that the both center line of the wheel, front wheel and the rear wheel, they should meet at one common point. This point is the instantaneous center. And here, if you see, while taking turn, the efforts required for turning the wheel will be less as compared to the Davis steering gear system. As here, friction will be minimum and efforts required for turning the vehicle will be also less. So this Ackerman steering gear mechanism is now commonly used in our day-to-day -day practical life.
or in our commercial vehicle now, whatever the vehicles which are running on the road. So the basic condition of the steering gear system is that for having a proper turning, for in order to avoid the skidding phenomena, or you know just to avoid the uh, to avoid the vehicle to leave the track, the condition is same that both the center line of the wheels of front and rear axle they should meet at one common point that is I, and if it is not happening, then there will be the skidding phenomena, or that vehicle should be or that vehicle will be thrown outside the track, or they will that vehicle will leave the track. So this is the positive point of Ackermann steering gear mechanism system as compared to Davis steering gear mechanism system. Thank you.